How's it going YouTube? This is my first video in a while and I think I figured out the high rent complaint issue that everybody's been experiencing. I know some people haven't and if you haven't that's great but if you have I think this video is going to be for you. Hey this is Editor MSG. I'm pretty sure I got this figured out. I've had the game running for a while now and only have a couple complaints. Uh, it was quite a bit so about 80% are gone and I have to keep on top of it, but I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Okay, so first things first is let's go into workplace availability and let's see here. I have almost 1,700 uneducated workers and almost 5,000 ed poorly educated workers. So that's almost 7,000 poorly and uneducated workers in the city. Well, all those people need a place to live that's affordable because they're also working the low paying jobs like all the industry that i have i have a ton of industry and this all ties together so i have all this oil industry i have this massive forest industry right here um and it's going to be pretty massive i'm thinking about doing most of this forest as a forestry industry farming and more forestry up here so all those workers are not getting paid as much they need a cheaper place to live and in city skylines one I think we're all used to doing this. Pick the zone and boom, paint it. And then we're done. And let whatever zone in, zone in. It's okay to do that in a lot of instances, but when you have a ton of uneducated workers, this is also why low density residential man is always screaming because we need low density small houses for the people who don't get as much money to pay low rent. So we also have this option, low rent housing. So when you first unlock it, don't just go and paint a big area or zone in a six by six spot because what's going to happen is when your city's just starting out and you make this big apartment it holds holds like 175 families or whatever but you don't have that many people want to live in there so what happens is the building abandons and then and then you're stuck with nobody living in it and then you still have people complaining about high rent so use the marquee tool when you're first starting out and make smaller buildings so a three by three a three by two or a two by three those are going to small smaller apartment buildings that will house and make everybody happy so the other thing is low density so like i said this is my first areas i just zoned it in and eventually they started complaining and complaining about rent so i started making neighborhoods just for tiny houses and here is one let's see if i can find find it i'm lost I'm lost where is it let me turn off this. These things are screwing me up here. All right. So I made this neighborhood specifically for small houses. Well, not technically that's not true. It was originally zoned with big zones like here. Uh, and this is where it was really popping off where people were complaining. So I just went in and dezoned them all down two by two houses. So you don't, you don't want to do this because they still complain when the houses are two by three or three by twos. So the first number I give is the on the roadside so three by two houses when they level up further they will still complain so this was just one street so when you go down two by two you have a lot more building space so i went ahead and put alleyways in and then just zoned it one at a time and if your demands up they instantly start building when you zone it so you just go to, you know fill in this boom 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 and it will just pop up one at a time it's tedious but that's how I figured out how to work it. And like I said, this was all thrown in all at once for me. And these, uh, you see high rent complaining. I just need to make more neighborhoods with low rent homes, uh, which is what I did over here. I put this over here specifically because I was hoping that the land value would stay low because it's in between oil rigs, an airport, and this train station. Uh, so I put all low rent, small zoned houses in here. I, a lot of these and also a lot of the row houses, but I made them one by twos and on alleyways. And none of these people were complaining. I had three, so I had some three by three houses in here. And I think this is probably, this person's gonna complain soon. So is this one and this one, that one. Um, these were all three by threes and there was a lot of complaints about high rent. So I went in and dezoned them down to two by twos and I didn't do it one at a time, I just left it that way and that's how they built. But I probably could throw in another row here now with an alley. Thanks so much for watching. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the fix for this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share it and let other people know about it and tell me your experiences. Is this working for you? I really appreciate it and we will see you in the next video. Bye.